Hi. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sharani Danae. Welcome to my channel. This is my first ever video. I feel like I haven't done a first video in so long because I already have a YouTube channel for my art, my fashion, and for other beauty content on there. That's where I'm more creative on there and I like to share my creative process with people on there. But for this channel, it's all about me and it's about princess and dolly content and that's where I just want to indulge in that. I've been on YouTube for around seven to eight years now and I really love creating content. It's just so much fun. I don't know, I haven't seen anyone out there that's like me when it comes to making content. At the same time, it's very fun to just ex experiment with different editing styles and to just express myself really. That's one reason why I created this personal channel for myself so that I can just indulge more in who I am as a person. So today we are going to be doing a, how can I say, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about myself and I'm also going to be doing a print like I'm also going to be doing a fall princess makeup look so it's going to be very brown it's going to be a dusty pink kind of color on my face and I'm just really excited to be jumping right into this so I hope you guys stay to watch and let's get started some good tea okay so first I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro concealer to block out anything that is high pigmented on my face. I deal with hyperpigmentation so I like to use this stuff on my face. I don't try to use a lot because a little can go a long way. I'm also not a professional at makeup. I just like doing makeup because it's fun. Nor do I need to be some guru. I just love sharing makeup. I just love doing makeup that's all and i'm getting better at makeup so if you guys have any friendly helpful advice on how i can do my makeup better truly appreciate it so i am 22 years old i live in new york i used to live in pennsylvania but i think around four years ago i graduated from high school and then I moved to New York so that I can study fashion design and what's so funny is that right when right after I moved right in the beginning of 2020 that's you know when the whole pandemic started so I was pretty much locked in and I wasn't able to actually go explore and make new friends and I think around that time that's where I took the opportunity to just focus on making content for Goddess by Heart and for making content um not content but for just making art because I'm also an artist and I do cartoon illustration I make lots of characters of girl characters because growing up I grew up on Disney, Bratz, Winx Club, anime which is like Sailor Moon, Tokyo Mew Mew Power, um, Totally Spies. I grew up on those shows so like I am in love with girl cartoon shows. <laughs> so with that I fell in love with just creating artwork of girl characters and it also intertwines with my fashion designing. I fell in love with fashion designing at a very young age when I was, how old was I? When I was, I think I was six or seven, my mom asked me, what do you want to be when you're older? She asked me if I wanted to be a doctor, like every parent is going to ask their kids if they want to be a doctor or try to push them in that way. I shut it down. Right then and there, I was like, mm-mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. No, 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 no. I was, I instantly told my mom, I don't want to see all that blood. <laughs> Which is true, like, and it's so funny now because I binge watched all of Grey's Anatomy 
and I know it's not realistic it's a medical drama so it's not gonna be realistic to the real thing but I'm watching it and I'm just like yeah yeah no nah. getting into the practice is not for me I don't like ooey gooey stuff that's not me and I knew my calling I knew my calling was in design because my mom would dress me up in the most prettiest of gowns she I was her literal doll baby she would put me in the most frilliest most laciest dresses growing up she would put my hair in pigtails and little braids and then put little bows and barrettes in my hair and because of my mom I like fell in love with fashion cuz my mom used to make her own clothes she used to make her own clothes and she used to make clothes for her sisters because they were in a church choir so my mom got good at sewing but with that my parents invested in me to lean into fashion designing so I have loads of fashion designs from when I was a little girl My parents invested in my fashion designing, so they would buy me all these little kits that were for little kids for fashion designing. Like it had stencils and it had pages in a book where you was able to draw on them. And I have loads of that. Maybe one day I'll actually show you guys some of my work once I actually find my portfolio. But I think it'll be really fun to show you guys that. Along with designing clothing, um, I think some hobbies of mine was crocheting. My mom taught me how to crochet. She had her own crocheting club in Boys and Girls, so I participated in that. And I also did fashion designing in Boys and Girls for a couple years. Oh yeah, girl, you look red. I look red, I look red. Think about myself, oh. Hobbies, I crochet, I love doing word puzzles, I love to read, my favorite genre is fantasy, romance. I think those are the only two genres I love to read. I also love reading my Bible, I love reading my devotion. In the morning when I wake up, I sometimes like to read my devotion and I like to just wake up and pray, you know, because I don't like starting my day on a negative no i like starting it with god make a forever concealer and it's like lighter than i but it'll blend really nicely and i think it'll also help get rid of the redness in my skin i'm not trying to add too much coverage so i was like mm, no 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 what else um I also love collecting dolls. I love, I'm a, not a big collector, but I've been collecting dolls since I could remember. Barbies and brats, and I love that for me because I was like such a huge doll person growing up. I still have some of my dolls I kept till now, like you can see some of them in the background that's probably cut off, but maybe one day I'll show you guys my doll collection. <gasps> no, I have to do that, that'll be so much fun. I still do collect dolls. I just recently went to a flea market at a church in my neighborhood. This 1998 holiday Barbie and I just had to get her because I specifically went there just to look for dolls. I went to a performing arts high school for four years and then I graduated. I majored in visual arts so there I did painting, I did sculpting, I did fashion shows, which was really fun. I did it all four years I was there. I'll show you guys some pictures. I studied art history, you name it. Like I did all of it. For my junior and senior year field trip, we went to the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City. And it's like one of my favorite museums. I love that museum. And we went to a lot of museums every year for high school. One day, I do want to travel to where Christian Dior has his well-renowned collection there. You know, the ones with the black mannequins. Oh, I love those gowns. My favorite type of fashion, my favorite era of fashion is 90s fashion, especially 90s couture fashion, especially Chanel, 
I love Dior, I love those. Like, 90 fashion hits different. Like, remember that show, uh, The Nanny? I think it, that's what it was called. And it had Fran on that show. Fran always popped off with such lovely outfits. I loved her outfits on there so much. I went to design school in, I think it was 2021. It's not easy learning how to sew online. <laughs> It's much better when you're in person. It's like way better. I studied in design school about the fashion industry. I did it online, which was not my favorite. Like online schooling is, is not it. And I did it for a few years and I do not like online learning. I don't recommend, unless you're far away. Like if they take international students, my school, but honestly, it, it was so much fun, like, learning about the industry and learning about techniques. Like, we watched a video of how silk was made for the first time. Ugh, not pretty. If you're very squirmish about how silk is made, it's made with silkworms, so I don't recommend watching that if you don't have the stomach for it. And they definitely taught us a lot about sustainability and how fashion needs to be more sustainable now because there's so much consumption now like people over buy products and over buy clothing and when they don't want it anymore it gets it doesn't even get donated most of the time people just throw them out and it's like there's oceans where there's nothing but trash and there's land where there's nothing but clothes that just needs to be used you know I don't know, like when I finished school, I was like, no way am I done. Like it doesn't feel like I'm done. And one thing I've learned is like, you're always a student in life. Like whatever you feel like you wanna get better at, there's always new things to learn. There's always new ways to improve yourself. So honestly, even though I'm officially done with school, I finished school in 2022, you'll always have to continue learning. You always have things to learn. One thing as a kid that made me really odd about fashion was in Sleeping Beauty when she was dancing and her dresses kept changing colors. I thought that was so neat. Which kind of reminds me, <laughs> for my senior prom, I wore this beautiful pink, it was like a whisper pink, where it looked like a wedding gown, which it kind of was but no one could really tell. It could have been, it had beads on it and white lace on it and lots of tulle. And I wanted that Sleeping Beauty effect that I loved so much from the movie. So I was just like, hmm. I added lights on it. I literally sewed lights underneath the dress. Yes, and it was glowing. <laughs> so the whole, so the whole prom, was like watching me. I didn't mean to like take the attention, but at the same time, I'm like, it's my prom. We're at a performing arts school, you know, like who's not taking the attention? Like people that get on the dance floor who are dance majors, they take the attention. Like I am the attention, like I don't care. Who am I to be a fashion design major or visual arts major? And I don't take an artistic opportunity like that. You know what I mean? My favorite animal is giraffes. I love giraffes. Giraffes are so pretty and they're so unique. So that my time doesn't run out, I'm just gonna apply my powder and then we can get into the eyeshadow. I have this palette from Seek Yourself Cosmetics and they have a really pretty palette full of purples, pinks, neutrals. I also have my Morphe 9R palette. watching anime i'd be watching all types of anime i think my favorite types of anime is shoujo where it's like they're in high school and cute little love stories romance i don't like anything that's gory i don't like anything that's gory you will not catch me watch nothing with horror in it i pretty much like the girly shows you know i love watching barbie movies i recently just watched swan lake i love that movie and i'm getting ready to watch barbie 
with the 12 dancing princesses she's like sitting on my vanity looking all pretty i'm so excited to watch that movie my favorite barbie movie is rapunzel i i feel like i'm rapunzel and rapunzel is me like i love that movie i even like the disney version but i really love the barbie version better okay so i have my james charles palette but still works for me it's not that old <laughs> it's not like your mom's makeup's old type of old <laughs> found my eyeliner definitely gonna do a wing i have to tell you guys and i gotta tell you i just i can't hold it in any longer i was gonna make another video on it but like my birthday is coming up and I just bought the most gorgeous dress. I'm gonna wait till the dress actually comes in so that I can reveal it to you guys, but it's so pretty. It's from Selkie. Listen, I've been looking at Selkie for over a year now and I've been debating on getting their, their dresses because I'm like, I don't know, they're high-end princess gowns and they're just so pretty and, I'm, and i just decided yesterday i just decided like i have to own one <laughs> like how can i not own a silky princess gown and it's so pretty it's so frilly it has ruffles it's so gorgeous i'm turning 23 this year so the best thing i need is a princess gown Okay, so I added the white, so now I'm gonna add the pink. I think pink and brown is cute, but it, it gives me, I don't know, because when I was a little girl, I used to wear pink and brown, so thinking about wearing those colors now, I'm just like, hmm. Depending on how you style and rock those colors, it can look really good. Do I want a matte look or do I want glitter? I want glitter. Okay, we are back. I did my eyeliner and my mascara off camera. I'm not gonna wear lashes today because I didn't feel like going full beat today. No lashes, no blush, no. And I'm excited to put on, I'm using this Spread Your Wings lip gloss by Goddess by Heart. And I love that lip gloss, it's so soft, even when I like my lips are chapped i can put it on just because my lips are chapped and it looks so good this is the la girl perfect precision lip liner from the doll from the beauty store i just like overlining my lips when i put on pink lipstick because i don't want it to be very overbearing And this isn't even that dark. I have a darker lip liner that I thought about using. But I just like this. Because it's not too dark. And. It just goes well with my complexion. And it goes perfect with that pink and brown combo. Now that's cute. I like that. <laughs> so that's the end of this makeup look. I'm glad I was able to tell a little bit about myself to you guys and just do like a mini makeup look for you guys. It's like it's a soft glam. It's nothing too big. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And if you did, also comment down below um what videos you want to see from me. Pretty much, just like show some love in the comment section. I'm so excited for this journey. I'm so excited because I get to meet you guys. I get to interact with you guys, pretty much show. I'm just excited to see where this will take me and yeah, where this will take us. Like I'm so excited because I can actually, this is gonna be a platform where I can just show things that I love like and I can be proud of. 
I'm not gonna be shy about the princess content. I love being a girly girl and I'm all about it. So I'm so excited. Subscribe to my channel for more videos and for updates. I'm gonna work on doing weekly uploads. If not, you guys can always find me on my Goddess by Heart channel. I hope you guys have a great day.